So this question says line K in the XY plane has slope negative 2P over 5 and Y intercept 0 comma P where P is a positive constant. All right, so I don't really know exactly what's going on, right? I could try to graph this, but I wouldn't really be able to because um, I don't know exactly where P is. I don't, since I don't know what P is, I can't actually figure out the slope. But I am going to just write down K equals, actually it's, it's line K. So I'm going to say Y equals negative 2P over 5X um, plus P. Right, so this is this is just my y equals m x plus b, and I'm replacing everything that I've been get like I'm replacing slope with what I was told slope is, and replacing the y intercept with what I was told the y intercept is. The next sentence here says, "What is the x coordinate of the x intercept of line k?" So what does that tell me? So. Um, what is the x coordinate? So I want to figure out what x is, where at the y intercept, at the y intercept, what is the x coordinate of the, I'm oh, sorry, at the, at the x intercept. So how do you find an x intercept? You find an x intercept when y is equal to zero. So again, let me just write that x int means y equals zero. So I'm going to take my y equals negative 2p over 5 plus p. I'm going to understand that I'm replacing y with 0 because that's how you find an x-intercept. So now 0 equals, it should have been x right there, negative 2p over 5x plus p. And now I'm just solving for x. All right, so I'm going to subtract p from both sides. And I'm left with negative p equals negative 2p over 5x. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 5 over negative 2p on this side. Also, 5 over negative 2p on this side. This allows me to cross-cancel these terms out, leaving me with just an x on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, again, this is multiplication. Don't want it to look like subtraction. So I can treat this as negative p over 1. That would be negative 5p in the numerator and negative 2p in the denominator. My p's would cancel out. Negative divided by negative is positive. So I'm left, I'm left with 5 halves equals x. So there's my x value, right? So no way I would have known that I would get there using this process necessarily from the very start. But I'm just picking up on all the cues, right? So the question tells me I have a line. Whenever I think about a line, I'm immediately thinking y equals mx plus b. The question tells me that the slope of that line is negative 2p over 5. So, hey, that means that's my m value. The question also tells me that the y-intercept is 0 comma p, which means technically p is my b value, right? The y-intercept position in that equation. So all I did here, I'll use a different color, was translate this, right? I just, I put what I read into a mathematical format, something that I can just look at and see exactly the meaning of what I just read. And then from there is just, well, the question wants me to figure out what X is, right? So I know that that's there, but how do I figure out what X is? What other information am I missing? Well, figure out what X is at the X intercept. Oh, well that tells me that y is zero, right? So you can see I'm following this trail of information, which allows me to go from here to here, where I then replace y with zero. And from there, it's just an algebra question. It may seem a bit confusing because you say, well, hey, I have two unknowns, I have p and I have x, but just trust, trust the process. And if you trust the process, you'll see that the p actually ends up canceling out and we're only left with our x value.